on, y'all. Oh, I should do this hair. I was like, have I shown you my haircut? Um, I'm having a pretty good day. So I was having a pretty shitty past few days where I literally haven't left my house or anything. So when you have those days where you just feel like you have no ambition to do anything and you don't want to leave your house, like just get up and like shower, wash your hair. You'll actually like feel better about yourself and like you'll want to get out of your house. I know that sounds like crazy, maybe like stupid advice or like obvious advice, but like not always obvious to me. But anyways, um, I'm actually feeling pretty good today. I filmed a few videos. I um, filmed my Donald Trump uh, like reaction video, I guess, to my own video. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so hopefully, by the time you see this, hopefully that's like all blown over because like, like I said in the video, I mean you guys can watch the video, but like I said in the video, it's, it was all taken just so in a way that I was not meant to be taken at all. But I did that video, I did a video on my weight loss and now I'm going about waiting for food for a mukbang video, one of my eating show videos. Um, mainly because I was like, ooh, do I want to eat bad today or do I want to eat good? Like, oh, I was, I was being conflicted, and so I was like, I kind of want to eat bad, I kind of want to eat bad because I haven't eaten bad in like not in a while. Like, yesterday, I didn't even eat anything really. I literally had like a one piece of chocolate the whole day because I just didn't feel like putting stuff in my body the day before that. I was eating kind of healthy, like just chicken, and I had some fruit. So I was like, you know what, let's just eat bad today. But I was like, if I can justify it, I can do an eating show because then I don't feel as bad about it and I can share it and I can rewatch it over and over for when I'm craving it, but I don't want to eat it. So I was like, I ordered all my favorites from Cheesecake Factory, like a lot, like a, a way more than I would normally get for like just a single, like I'm hungry meal. But I am going to put it in the, the freezer, the fridge, so y'all don't think of my leftovers. But anyways, that's just kind of where I'm at. I'm just kind of... I haven't been vlogging that much, which I, I kind of feel bad about because, but I haven't done anything. Like I literally have not left my house in like days. <laughs> so I, um, I'm just like, okay, Trish, like get some makeup on your face. And this bra, the only thing with short hair, it doesn't hide your bras. So like this bra is like ugly AF with this, but I don't know what else to wear. I can't really find my bras. This keeps going out of focus. What does it want to focus on? Oh, I want to focus on that back there. Um, but yeah, so I'm feeling good. I'm editing right now and like I said, I'm waiting for my food so that I'm going to eat and who knows? I'm going to try and hang out with someone tonight. I don't know. I'm going to text some friends and be like, hey, does anyone want to hang out with me? If not, then I'll just be at home looking pretty, looking cute because I actually did my hair makeup. But like I said, I, it's the first time I just did my hair makeup for me. I'm not really going anywhere or seeing anyone. And, um, also I'm trying to plan my next dancing time. Uh, getting my extensions back. I know a lot of you like the short hair, but I'm gonna get my extensions back on um, Thursday, today's Tuesday, so Thursday. So I'm just, they're gonna be short again, but not this short. Maybe like down to here or something. Um, but yeah. Music, oh, that's an update too. I'm, I'm getting my music completed i have like i have to go in the studio like a few more times to get it completely done but thank god it's progressing and moving forward it was kind of at the standstill like once this ep is out holy shit this is going to be like an accomplishment of accomplishments because it's been quite the journey passing it around to different people and people backing out and people coming in and people saying they're going to finish something when they don't so at least we're not at a standstill like we have been for the past month and a half and I am so thankful for that because I really just thought for a minute that this is not going to happen and I was getting very frustrated. So like I said, this is definitely the labor of love. It's not just as easy peasy as it was when I was going with one guy and him doing kind of a half-ass job with it and stuff. Uh, so I'm really working hard to try and make it good and try and get things ready so I can start doing music videos and stuff because I really truly love doing that stuff. I really have been feeling not myself, not being able to create and perform and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that'll be coming in the next couple weeks. I can get back in the studio because I miss it. And uh, that's kind of everything. So I guess I'll keep you guys up to date. Uh, this outfit, I had another one on earlier from Nasty Gal, but this one's from Venus and I really like it. It's really cute, like for summer. I think it's super cute. So my OOTDs, yeah, my other one was like this blue fringe dress. Maybe I'll insert it somewhere. It was really, really cute too. It's from Nasty Gal, and I really liked it. And Nasty Gal's usually really like tight fitting on me, like really small, but it fit perfectly. And it was a large because like Nasty Gal sizes can be a little small, but it fit great. So anyways, I thought I'd catch you all up. Oh, my Rick Moranis pillow back here. Everyone's like, what is that? It's my pillow, me and Rick Moranis that my friend Michaela sent to me from Canada. Hey girl, shout out girl. This is the camera I film with. Everyone always asks, what cameras do you film with? Uh, this is the one I film for my, is that still focusing on that pillow? Oh. This is the one I film with my, or my everyday, like my main channel videos. It's a Canon Rebel T3. I've had it for seven years, I think, six years maybe. Long time and it's amazing and it holds up and it's trusty and true and just easy for me to use. And then, I was gonna show you my vlogging camera but I'm holding it. It's a Sony G7X, so. 
For those of you who want to know, that's what it is. Oh my gosh. I'm like crying, I'm like gonna cry. Whoa, okay, that's on Seth Rudetsky's YouTube channel. Oh my God, you guys, focus on my, um, what? Adam Pascal has, Pascal Pascal has the best voice I've ever heard, ever heard, above Roger Bart, above Christian Bora, above all the greatest, above Michael Crawford, above every single great Broadway actor that I love, or singer that I love, I don't know why it's going out of focus, by the way, I just ate Cheesecake Factory, so it's a little crazy, um, what, it was actually recommended to me this video, ironically, because y'all know, right, okay, so y'all know, anyways, well, the ones that know, know, you know, I don't need to, like, go into it, but I was like, okay, it's a disaster, but it was Adam Pascal singing once on Glory, and I was like, oh, that is my jam, so I clicked on it, and I felt like, okay, and I clicked on it, and his voice fucking gives me the fucking chills, I want to see the show so bad, I know I can't because I look like a crazy stalker, but I want to see it. Anyways, I'm, like, gonna finish watching this, but I was just like, what is this? phenomenon that is Adam Pascal's voice. Like what, why did Adam Adam not become like this huge fucking star? Like I know he's so huge in his own right, especially on Broadway, like he's fucking brilliant, everyone loves him, but like why is he not like monumental, like beyond, I'm trying to think of like a singer to even compare to him, like I can't even think of somebody, like why did he not become fucking huge? Like I don't understand, like household name. Oh, he's so good. Oh my God, he's so good, he's like married. I looked it up already, I was like, oh, maybe I should. Like, I don't know, he's married, but he's really fucking good. And I don't know why this keeps going out of focus. It's trying to focus on other things behind me, but this is amazing. I'm so happy this person posted this video. Like, it's making my whole day. And I did just eat Cheesecake Factory, like I was saying earlier. Um, and I'm gonna edit that, but I'm just, I got mesmerized. I got a little sidetracked. 